Hi, we're finally back. Hope you didn't miss us too much. Today, let's talk about something that's been a problem in recent days. The way the gaming industry treats consumers, it is expected for there to be a certain level of distrust and anger when a new game is released. You'd think a game that isn't a broken, unfinished mess at launch would be universally praised, right? Well, that isn't happening with the new Legend of Zelda. Believe me, the game is incredible and totally deserving of all the high review scores it is getting. But, there are people who are projecting rage towards the new Zelda simply because it is getting so much praise. They attack the sites giving Breath of the Wild high scores and people who speak highly of the game. They go on Metacritic to drop the game's score on purpose, and they've never played the game, and they say they never will. The reason for their hate is, frankly, stupid. I'm not going to go into why Breath of the Wild has captured so many hearts. Just go on YouTube and look up Zelda reviews if you really want to know. I'm here to talk about why some people feel they have the need to tear this game down. We all know who these people are. They are fanboys. Specifically, console fanboys from Microsoft and Sony. There are two things they hate. Each other and PC gamers. If there is one thing that brings them together, it is their shared hatred for Nintendo. Now, there are some things Nintendo has done to piss off even their biggest fans. How they treat fans on YouTube is the worst right now. Overall, most people love Nintendo because their games are actually good. They aren't in the habit of releasing unfinished garbage to justify selling DLC. While they are offering a season pass for the new Zelda, the game isn't an unfinished mess like so many titles from EA, Activision, and Ubisoft. Breath of the Wild is a reinvigoration of what an open world, open-ended game should be. So, let's put all this hate under the microscope. Let's call it what it is. Jealousy. Xbox and PS4 fanboys are slowly awakening to the truth that their blind loyalty is being rewarded with exploitation. Microsoft and Sony discovered they had a cadre of fanatical fans who would stick by them no matter what. The same is true of EA, Activision, and Ubisoft. Rather than reward them for brand loyalty, the companies chose instead to exploit them for profit. This is why all the bad anti-consumer business practices in the gaming industry we hate exist. So fanboys are caught in a prison of their own making. A prison of ideology, a religion or cult of sorts. So they respond like any other religious fanatic does when their beliefs are challenged. They lash out in blind rage. This is exactly what we're seeing in these attacks against Breath of the Wild. Now you understand why it is happening, and why we should counter it not with anger, but with a positive response. In fact, that is already happening on Metacritic. The positive reviews are drowning out the hate, raising the score back where it should be. So when you see a raging fanboy online, don't respond with like energy. Einstein said you can't solve a problem using the same energy to create it. Counter anger and hate with positivity. Countering hate with more hate does nothing. I hope this helps you in your future dealings with these kinds of people. It may not seem evident at first, 
but it does help them too, so don't lose heart. Stay positive. I've been Chloe, and I'll see you next time. Well, I'm no one's fool.